Hey everyone, welcome to another ranking, and here's my ranking of everything Ghostbusters. Everything to me. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm ranking movies, television shows, and video games. I know this isn't technically everything Ghostbusters, because there's books, graphic novels, there's so many things Ghostbusters related, it's almost impossible to rank everything. I'm just ranking everything I've seen or played that is related to Ghostbusters. The new Ghostbusters movie came out and I thought I'd celebrate everything Ghostbusters by ranking everything that is Ghostbusters that I have seen or I have played. Uh, there are some video games I've still I, I've missed, but I've played most of them. There, are, I think there's a show maybe I missed that I haven't seen. Uh, I've seen all the movies and stuff. Like I know everyone's ranking all the Ghostbusters movies. I thought I'd just add more to that because I've played a lot more. I've seen the shows. I've played the video games. I thought I'd just throw it all in there and give you all a big Ghostbusters ranking. So let's get to it. Here is my ranking of everything Ghostbusters, movies, television shows, video games, from my least favorite to my favorite. Coming at the very bottom at number 10 is the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. It's a shit movie. I hate this movie. I did a whole video, I did a review when it came out in 2016, and I did an updated review, I think last year, saying Ghostbusters 2016 still sucks, and it is a bad movie. It is not just a bad Ghostbusters movie, it is a bad movie. Bad visuals, bad CGI, bad characters, bad comedy, bad writing, bad execution. This movie tried so hard to be a funny Ghostbusters movie, but it shit on everything that was Ghostbusters. It didn't want to, you know, be like the 84 film, but it actually was everything. It was the 84 film, but with female Ghostbusters, and they kind of like shit on everything that the original cast did and the original filmmakers did and just hated the 2016 film. I hate that movie. It is the worst thing Ghostbusters related ever made for me. Number nine, a very close second worst, is the 2016 video game. I've played this video game for a few hours and turned it off, but believe it or not, it's more tolerable than the stupid movie because at least there's less dialogue and more just ghost busting. But the game's full of glitches. It's full of really awful gameplay. It tried to be like the uh, original video game, the one I'm going to be talking about a little later. And it fails to do that. And it puts a lot of that stupid feminist shit in the video game as well. And just, I don't know, there's just other video games out there, the Ghostbusters related, just did so much better. And just, this one just isn't good. So many tech problems. The gameplay isn't interesting. And the story is just the movie. And we all know the movie sucked. But it's more tolerable than the movie, but it's still a bad video game. So yeah. Number eight is Ghostbusters Sanctum of Slime. This was for the, I think the PS three is it three ps3 days horrible game it's a really 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 bad game it's a sequel to the ghostbusters game that came out in 2009 i'll be getting to that game the game's amazing but sanctum of slime is really bad really bad glitches really bad effects too especially for a 2011 game the controls aren't great the aiming that you do with some of these uh devices are just really bad the story sucks and it just doesn't have that like same feel as that other ghostbusters game and it didn't bring any of the cast members back for the game and just it wasn't very good it just feels like a arcade game made for a ps3 it just it just looks cheap and it just it was boring and it took like five hours to beat the game just there's not much of a story there it just it just sucked simple as that just sucked number seven is new Gus new ghostbusters 2 for the nes there is a ghostbusters from the first ghostbusters game it's an arcade game which i have not played but new ghostbusters 2 for the nes i have played because I, I used to have an nes as a kid and i did play this game it's like a side scrolling ghostbusters game and uh, it's basically Ghostbusters 2 in video game form, but it's done decently. Some of the, it feels like it has that atmosphere of Ghostbusters, and it's got that uh, cool, old-school feel of video game stuff, good side-scrolling games, some puzzles and stuff, and some riddles and all that stuff. It's dated. It's not a game I would ever play nowadays, but I remember getting a bit of a kick out of it. That's all I got for it. It's, it, it's fine. It's fine. Number six is Ghostbusters 2, the movie, 1989 movie. 
This is not a film I watched a lot as a kid. I watched the first Ghostbusters and some of the shows a lot as a kid. Ghostbusters 2 was something... <laughs> I'll even admit, even as a kid, I didn't even know there was a Ghostbusters 2. I always thought it was just Ghostbusters because my dad only showed me Ghostbusters. Because um, we had the VHS tape of Ghostbusters. And I didn't realize until I was like... 12 that there was a second Ghostbusters and I, I finally watched it when I was a kid uh, never liked it as I got older I got more a little bit of appreciation for it some of the jokes are funnier I love the painting and the villain in the second one they do rehash a lot of things and there's a lot of just weird awkward moments and they're just things that they did with the story I just didn't like but the Statue of Liberty scene's pretty cool. Some of its visuals are pretty cool. And it's good to see the characters and the cast back. Uh, it's interesting that Ian Reitman directed this movie. And Hal Ramis and uh, Dan Aykroyd wrote it. It was like everything... They got everything and everyone back. But it just didn't have that same feel and magic as the first film. It's still enjoyable and has that kind of guilty pleasure feel for me. But it's not like that first movie. By no means. Which is disappointing. <laughs> Number five is Extreme Ghostbusters, the television show in 1997. This is a very fun show. I watched this as a kid. This is the show that I watched on repeat because there was a lot of like reruns of the show. And I always thought it was very entertaining. I love the story of like Egon Spangler in this show, forming his own team, his new Ghostbusters team. And the team was really cool. I love the cool characters, the designs of them. I love the new gadgets they bring and the, the enemies and villains they fight in the show. I always thought this show was just thoroughly entertaining and very enjoyable. And just as a kid, I watching a cartoon about Ghostbusters, this is just sheer fun. And th there was no, like, deep-rooted comedy and great action sequences that will make me remember how epic the show was or anything. But it was a fun, entertaining show for a kid to watch. And I have good memories with it. Number four is The Real Ghostbusters. Yes, the television show that ran from 1986 to 1991. I watched a little bit of this as a kid. But uh, there was a lot of things I just didn't remember. I just, My brother, my older brother, watched this show more, actually, than me. But I do remember it. So, But not until, like, a couple of years ago, actually, I watched the whole series. This is about three years ago I watched the real Ghostbusters series, and I quite enjoyed it, actually. I love that it's, like, literally just after the first Ghostbusters and stuff. And it's actually, like, a proper sequel to the movie than Ghostbusters 2. And they got Slimer as the sidekick. The villains and all the situations they go through is interesting. And it's funny. It's great for kids. It's great for adults. I love the animation. I love the kick-ass theme. I I love that it's got all the characters, too. It's got Vankman. It's got Winston. It's got Ray. It's uh, Egon. It's got um, everybody. Everybody. Even Lewis. Lewis is in the movie, too. It's just, in the movie. The show, sorry. And it, it's... It's a fun show, and I actually wish it lasted longer. I think there's like a, over 140 episodes. Uh, it was great, and I I remember watching this movie. It, this movie, I keep seeing movie show a couple of years ago, and I just had a blast with it. Yeah, I could see why a lot of people grew up with it and still love it to this day. Number three is the video game Ghostbusters: The Video Game 2009. They remastered it years later, and that's the version I played. I fucking love this game. I love this game so much. You basically had to play as a fifth Ghostbuster. And all the cast returned. Harold Ramis, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson. They're all back. You're with the four Ghostbusters. And you play as a fifth Ghostbuster hunting ghosts. This game is amazing. It's so good. The gadgets, the the, the different worlds and levels you experience, the ghosts you fight. All, I, I love the... the the slime thing that you get to use to trap the ghosts and everything is so fun. The little ghost children you fight, and you get to see the librarian again, and when you fight New York City, and just everything about this game is sheer fun. This game actually makes you feel like a Ghostbuster. And that right there makes this game incredible. 
Number two is Ghostbusters Afterlife. I just did a whole review of it, praising it. I loved this movie. I thought it was a great movie. I, I thought it was just, this is what we all needed. And after the cringe fest of 2016, a lot of people thought Ghostbusters was just dead in the ground. But this brought Ghostbusters back. And it's a love letter to Ghostbusters. Uh, I know there is a lot of fan service, but uh, it's fan service that I enjoyed. Brings in new characters that I love. Brings in old characters that I love. And just, it's just a fucking blast. It's one of my favorite films of the year. And it's one of my favorite Ghostbusters movies. Yeah, but it's no number one. Number one is, of course, the original Ghostbusters. The original Ghostbusters is one of my favorite comedies of all time. It's because some of the greatest and funniest people in the 1980s. Now, you know all the actors. I love the iconic villains of Zool and Gozer. And I, I love its classic visuals and its great jokes. It's probably one of the most quotable films ever made. And the greatest comedy ever made. It's fucking Ghostbusters. <laughs> so yeah, that was my ranking of everything Ghostbusters, from at least for to my favorites on the comment section below. Please tell me, what is your ranking of all the Ghostbusters movies, video games, whatever you've seen Ghostbusters related? What is your favorite? What is your least favorite? Give me your whole rankings. Comment below and let me know. And as always, for this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side.